hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Amy Carr. I'm the Vice President of Recruiting here at Worldwide Health Staff Solutions. And we are here today to talk about just a few of the opportunities that we have available right now at Worldwide Health Staff. Um, for everyone who is joining us, we would love for you to tell us where you are in the world today, and um, we'd love to see where you're where you're watching from. So today we're going to talk about opportunities for several different employers. I think it's important to know that for each one of these employers, um, you do have to have already taken and passed the NCLEX exam. And you need to have at least one year of current bedside experience in the specialty that you are applying for. And I think um, just really important to know that increasingly employers are very interested in um, nurses from other countries that are currently working in bedside experience. So it's super, super important to, to concentrate on having really great bedside experience. Also, for each one of these opportunities, these are all direct hire, which means that you would be hired directly by these employers. Each one of these employers are going to pay for premium processing. These are all for an EB-3 visa, so for a green card. And your immediate family members are included on your petition at no extra cost. Um, there are other costs for family members throughout the process, but your petition, it's free. Um, each one of these folks will pay at least for 30 days of temporary housing. We don't require an English exam for processing, and it's free airfare for the applicant. And everyone gets reimbursed for the visa screen and medical exam. Some employers will reimburse for other charges too, but everyone reimburses for the visa screen and for the medical. So the first employer that we are going to talk about today is the Lehigh Valley Health Network, and we'll start with the video. The First Up platform helps us eliminate the noise in communication for our nurses and our physicians and our colleagues who are working so hard to take care of patients and to care for our community. Hi, I'm Kirsten Reed, Internal Communications and Engagement Manager at Lehigh Valley Health Network. Lehigh Valley Health Network is a health network located in eastern Pennsylvania. We're made up of 13 hospitals, numerous health centers and outpatient locations, and 20,000 LVHN proud colleagues. The LVHN Insider gives people the information they want, where they want it, and when they want it. So it's impacted our strategy in the way that we always put the colleague first. Not that we didn't do that before, but it's so much more mindful now because we have the data to back it up. It's been game changing to see the types of content that our colleagues are interacting most with or the methods of communication that are performing the best really helps to drive our strategy. So we know if we have an important communication that everybody needs to know, we know exactly how to send it, we know exactly who to send it to to get the best result. Whatever channel they prefer and whatever time they prefer to look at it, it's there for them. We can segment communications that are most relevant and help to build culture in those areas because we are one LVHN and we're one family, but there are subcultures that we want to foster and that we want to promote in each of the regions that we serve. And we can do that through First Up. To a colleague that's on the front line, I think LVHN Insider means connection and community. Find out what's going on with your colleagues, either at your hospital or at another hospital, to read stories about the amazing things colleagues are doing every day, to remember why we all do what we do. We had a colleague at one of our hospitals who was undergoing cancer treatment, and her colleagues rallied around her. They all made scrub caps that were exactly the same in support of their colleague. They posted some photos on LVHN Insider when she rang the bell at her last treatment. And the comments were overwhelming. They were, we're here for you, congratulations, we love you, you made it. And the messages of support and just the community that formed around this colleague was amazing. The First Up platform allows for two-way conversations. It gives our colleagues the chance to have a voice. All right, so Lehigh Valley Health Network um, is 
located in, they're in Pennsylvania. They have over 19,000 employees and we currently um, recruit for Lehigh Valley every single month. Um, they have a large number of international nurses that are going to be employed in all of the different hospitals throughout the network. Um, to date, we have hired 200 international nurses. We actually have uh, interviews that are going on right now for, for many of the locations. Um, in addition to the, the hospital services, they also have a whole bunch of outpatient clinics and um, lab services, rehab, rehab locations. And it's ranked among the top hospitals in Pennsylvania. I think, though, one of my favorite things about Lehigh Valley is um, the people that work there. Uh, they really embody the core values that they that they say that they do. Um, their core values are compassion, integrity, collaboration, and excellence. And I can say that they are really excellent partners to us. And Lehigh Valley cares very, very deeply about each nurse that gets placed there. Um, they want to make sure that every every single nurse, both I mean domestic, but also the, all the nurses from worldwide, have a really great experience. They have some other partners in addition to our team who will help with relocation. They also have some partners locally that work to make sure that everyone has everything they need. Um, I think that I, you know, I would imagine that this would be one of my favorite places or one of my recommendations for the international nurse as they started their journey in the U.S. to be able to have the sort of support and care and community that's offered by Lehigh Valley Health Network would be an amazing place to amazing place to start. Um, currently, we are hiring for progressive care, med surge, ICU, and OR for Lehigh Valley. Um, these may change just a little bit throughout the year as they um, look at the different offerings they need. And all of the locations are in Pennsylvania. Um, different towns, Allentown, Easton, Hazleton, Pottsville, and East Stroudburg. A couple of the locations that Lehigh Valley has are union locations. So some of the some of these locations do have union nurses. And I think something else really important to know about Lehigh Valley is that they offer a package where you could have six months of housing provided. Um, and there is a, a possibility to have three months of housing that's provided, but also um, furnished so that you wouldn't have to worry about furniture. So so they, they've got a lot of really fantastic things that are, that are going on and um, are really just a, a great employer. So if you might be interested in Lehigh Valley, um, please reach out to your recruiter and they'll be happy to let you know if you qualify and help you see what locations we have available for interview. So the next employer that we are going to talk about is Bayada, and we'll start with the video. You know, when I was in nursing school, didn't really hear much about home care. The best thing is just to tell people. Home care is nursing in its entirety. The holistic care that you get to provide in home care was what I knew nursing to be. In a hospital, you have five different people that you have to call to manage different things with your patient. In home care, I learn all that stuff. The only things that I heard was that it was not very skill intensive, that your skill sets are gonna get rusty. False, I've learned new skill sets. I get continuing education through bad all the time. I know how to work the ventilator. I know how to take care of the trach. I know how to crack an oxygen tank. I know how to work an Amboo bag. I can take care of you. Our care is so detailed that it's phenomenal. And that's the kind of stuff that people don't hear when they're in school. They're going, oh, you're going to go and you're going to be what, like a glorified babysitter? No, couldn't be further from the truth. Home care is a collaborative team approach to nursing, which I didn't know until I did it. This is why you became a nurse. You became a nurse to treat the whole system, the patient, the family, the illness, the, the doctors, you touch every aspect. A nurse in home care is like the hub of a wheel and you're in touch with every 
spoke of that wheel. And, and you have a chance in home care to make an enormous difference with a patient and a family and the other nurses. It's everything all wrapped up into one. So I think oftentimes when nurses around the world think about home care, they think about it in terms of what happens in, in other countries. But in the U.S., home care is really different. And home care is, um, it's really acute care nursing, but happens in the home. Um, I think many people know about long-term care facilities and um, and the need that there is for folks here in the U.S. to be taken care of if they have some sort of illness or perhaps they're aging and they need assistance. But I think many people today prefer to have that level of care happen in their home. And so Bayada is one of the largest home health companies in the U.S. And really, the nurses that work at Bayada have... Um, they have long-term relationships with their with their clients and their patients, and they need these patients need a high level of care. And so Bayada is looking for nurses that have an acute care background, but would be interested in caring for patients one on one. And Bayada, I think one of the things that you get to do in home care is. One, oftentimes you'll have the same patients. So you'll get to know your patients and their families. And you can also sometimes have a, a more set schedule that if you have kids or family and it would be better to work closer to an eight to five hourly job, you're able to do that in home care. Um, although I think one thing that's important is Beata has significant support for all of the nurses. So even though you're working alone, there's all kinds of support that they offer. So if you need immediate support or help, there's a help center to call and there's great training. So if there's some higher level skills that you'd like to learn that you don't have, Bayada has incredible training programs that are available. Um, they also really are concerned about patient outcomes. Um, and especially because it's one on one with a patient, many nurses feel like they get to give the care that they really always wanted to give in an acute care setting, but weren't able to do that. I think Bayada is also super important. Um, they're, like, one of the things that's very important to them is development. And so they, they worry about training and then also development for future positions. And it's a huge company, so there's an awful lot of opportunity throughout the company. Um, they've also been honored as a best place to work for positive culture and employee satisfaction and commitment to a supportive environment. So it's a, it's a company that is doing important work. Home care is one of the fastest growing segments in healthcare in the U.S. And I think more and more U.S. Uh, patients are going to choose to have treatment in the home what, rather than go to an acute rehab or a long-term care facility to have acute care that they need. So if, if you haven't thought about home care and you are interested in, you know, maybe having a schedule that's a little bit more flexible. I think that this is something that you should absolutely explore. There's a couple of videos on our website um, and our YouTube channel about home care. Um, Bayada has a ton of really great resources on their website too. So if you're interested in just learning more, if you haven't ever thought about it, I, I would encourage you just to do some research about working in home care and how different it, it, it is. So the, um, the positions we have right now are in Pennsylvania um, for home health nurses. We have interviews for Bayana every other week. And um, the specifically, they're in the Philadelphia area. Philadelphia is a big city. Um, it's drivable to New York City. So if you're, you know, if you have family that's in New York City or New Jersey, um, Philly is very close to those areas. Um, it's in the Northeast. There's a lot of great food. There's a lot of culture. Philadelphia is pretty diverse area. 
Um, and so if you, if you think that this might be a good opportunity for you, please reach out to your recruiter and tell them that you are interested in Bayon. I think we even have interviews on Friday. So if you're interested, um, right now it's a good time to tell your, to tell your recruiter that you, you might be interested to interview with Bayana on Friday. All right. So the, the last employer that we are going to chat about today is Tideland's Health. Um, and we'll also start with a video. Every day we're moving forward, focused into our future. We share the journey with those we love, those who show us who we are, what we can become. And we keep moving through every stage of life. Like you, Tideland's health is growing, moving toward an even brighter, healthier future. For you, for your family, for the community we all call home. We move to keep you moving forward. Tideland's Health, now open at the Market Common. Visit tidelandshealth.org to learn more. All right, so Tidelands um, is actually located very close to, to where I am. So I'm in North Carolina at the headquarters of Worldwide Health Stop Solutions in Charlotte. Um, Tidelands is located in South Carolina, which um, the state of South Carolina, you can reach from where I'm sitting in just 15 minutes. <laughs> it's where it starts, and Tidelands is probably two hours drive from where we are. Um, it is located in Myrtle Beach near the coast. So if you are somebody who likes to live near the beach, um, Myrtle Beach is one of the top places to live in the U.S. and I think a top tourist destination. Um, people from all over the eastern part of the U.S. come to Myrtle Beach every year. Um, and, you know, quite, in fact, in the U.S., many, many people from all different parts of the U.S. move to North Carolina and South Carolina every year because of the cost of living, because of the weather, because it's safe and the cost, like it's just, it's a great place to be. And so if you haven't thought about South Carolina, that's a state that you should really look at. Um, the cost of living is, again, it's low and it's safe. Um, you can also, there's there's more than one coastal area. Charleston is a, is a really pretty coastal town um, and it's driving distance to a lot of different places. So um, very, the, it's a great location. Um, there, Tidelands has also recently been voted one of the best places to work and um, has won awards that also have other hospitals like Johns Hopkins involved in. So it's really, it's, it's a very great place to work. And um, the, the folks that work at Tidelands are, are very kind. Um, in the Southern part of the US, the, the culture is known for friendliness and, um, and just being generally outgoing and welcoming. And I would say that everyone that we work with at Tidelands exhibits all of those characteristics. Um, they're also very committed to the success of all of their employees. And, uh, you know, it'd be a great, great place to work. Um, one of the things that Tidelands is committed to for their employees is to make sure that everyone has a great financial well-being, um, which I think we all can agree is important. Um, so, so they pay very competitively for the place that they are. Um, they have great time off operate, uh, offerings. Their retirement savings account is something they are very proud of. And then they also have support for financial planning. So, and I, and I think, you know, and probably in many parts of the world, but in the U.S., um, oftentimes having a financial planner and somebody that helps you plan for how to save to meet your financial goals, like being able to purchase a house, and then also, I think most importantly, being able to retire 
um, and spend the last years in a way that, um, you know, doing the things that you hoped that you could do and the reason that we all work so hard. So that's, Tidelands is, is committed to that for all of their employees. And, and I think that's, that's super fantastic. Um, currently, we are hiring for really what's called their, their nurse. It's a, um, it's a float unit. And in their float unit, they're looking to hire med surge nurses, cardio tele nurses, ortho neuro, ICU, telemetry, oncology, and OR nurses. Um, we have interviews this week too for Tideland. So if you are interested in working at Tideland, please reach out to your recruiter and let them know. Um, again, it's a great location, super fantastic people. Um, and you can't go wrong. If you've never looked at Myrtle Beach, if you're not familiar with the U.S., just take a second and Google Myrtle Beach. Um, but whether you decide that this is the right place for you to start your journey in the U.S., or when you get here, you need a place to go on vacation, um, look up Myrtle Beach because it's a, it's a fun and exciting place to visit. All right. So those are the opportunities that we, um, we are going to talk about today. We're also getting ready to take your questions. So if you have questions, please make sure to put them in the chat. Also, if you have specific questions about your individual experience and what you qualify for, please reach out to a recruiter. You can do it by live chat. Um, you can get in touch with your recruiter. Um, also, like us on Facebook. We do exciting events all the time. And if you like us on Facebook, you'll be able to see all of the opportunities that are coming up and any events that we may do. So please make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us if you haven't already. Um, just to mention, we also have a uh, refer a nurse friend. Um, if you don't, don't come alone, um, refer your friends. And once their petition is filed, you can earn up to $250 per person that you refer. And then if you haven't yet applied, please go onto our website at healthstaff.org and apply online and send us your CV and we will get you directly connected to a recruiter. All right. So, um, so let me look and see what questions we have. Um, one question, do you guarantee 40 hours of work per week? Or do you call for work when it's deemed necessary when, or when there is a vacancy? So all of these positions that we've talked about today are direct hire. So they will be directly employees of each one of these organizations. And they are full time. And so full time in the U.S. is um, for a nurse is 36 or 40 hours, depending on the schedule. Some schedules are three 12 hour shifts. Some schedules are um like if you worked at Bayada, for instance, it might be five days of work for eight hours for 40 hours a week. Um, but these are all for full time positions, um, all, all full time. Uh, somebody asked a question about bedside experience. All of these um, all of these do require current bedside experience. Um, every single one of them um, does. And in fact, increasingly, all of our employers, even long term care employers, um, are interested in um, are interested in folks that are currently working in bedside. And I think one of the things that is really important is that when you are transitioning to the U.S., there are so many different things to consider. You know, there's you're going to have a new your new place to live. There's English all the time. Um, you're going to have new grocery stores, new places to shop, new churches. You're going to have your kids getting in school. And I think having really strong nurse experience will make your um, will make your transition here easier because the time that you spend with, you know, at work and transitioning into work will be the really easy part. So focusing on building all of the skills that you have during, you know, as you interview and during the immigration process is really a critical part of your transition to the U.S. I think additionally, you know, employers are, are, are looking for a really good reason to, to sponsor nurses. And so they're looking for nurses that are going to bring really great skills. So I think that's, that's really important. And, um, and so just, just know that the bedside experience that you have really does play a, a very important role in, in both your transition and the job that you're able to get here in the U.S. 
Um, somebody asked, how can we get all the information? that we've shared today. Everybody who has signed up for the webinar will get a copy of this. So you'll you'll be able to um, you'll be able to get the all of this sent to you. Um, if you are interested in um, if you're interested in a um, in a position in North and South Carolina, please either reach out and chat with a live recruiter right now or email your recruiter. If you haven't applied yet, please go online to healthstaff.org to apply. Um, if you don't have, if, you, if you'd like for somebody to reach out to you today, um, please drop your email address into the chat and we'll, we'll make sure to, to get somebody to reach out to you immediately. Um, somebody asked a question about um, ex how do we have to be working currently? The answer is yes. You do have to be currently working um, in order to apply for these positions and, and really most positions. Um, okay, somebody asked if the OET is accepted in Pennsylvania. I'm looking up the answer for you. I think that it is not. Pennsylvania accepts the TOEFL, out PTE, and MET. It does not accept the OET. Um, but it accepts the other TOEFL, IELTS, PTE, and MET. Um, somebody asked a question about um, Indian nurses. So if you are from India, the current processing time for, or I guess the, the priority dates that are being processed by USCIS are back more than 10 years. So if you don't have a previous priority date, um, right now, we wouldn't be able to um, to help you because the waiting time for employers is just so very long. Um, it's not that we don't want to help. It's just that USCIS processing times are, are very long right now. Um, is there a sign-on bonus for North Carolina? So uh, we talked today about three employers. None of them are in North Carolina, but um, we do have employers in North Carolina a sign-on bonus is dependent on each individual employer and sometimes based on the position that they're filling. So if you're interested in North Carolina, please reach out to your recruiter and your recruiter will be very happy to, um, to talk with you about what you're eligible for. And then they would be able to let you know if the position that you are um that you are interested in has a sign-on bonus. So they'd be able to give you that information. Because we're direct hire, it's different for every single employer and based on what every single employer uh, accepts. Um, how about current bedside experience but on a part-time position? So these, um, these employers are requiring to interview for these positions are requiring full-time bedside experience. Um, our employers that will accept part-time experience are generally in long-term care. But if you reach out to your um, to your recruiter, they'd be happy to let you know they, and look at your individual experience and, and help you see what employers you might qualify for to interview with. Okay, I'm looking through to see what other questions. Um, I do see some emails that are coming through and I've, I've collected those. Um, how do you apply for South Carolina? Please contact your recruiter and let them know that you're interested. Um, they would be happy to, happy to help you. Um, and then I think there's another question about, can you, um, can you work extra hours? Um, most hospitals, so again, the employer would like the employer, which it would be the company that and hire that hires you, um, would be able to um, would 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 make that decision. And oftentimes, it's based on need. I, I think right now most employers do allow extra hours. And in the U.S., overtime is required to be paid if you work over forty hours a week. It's required to be paid at one and a half times your hourly salary. Um, if you have trouble, um, getting your, if you're having trouble applying online, you can also, um, email your application to recruiting at healthstaff.org 
Uh, so if you have if you have any trouble getting your application uploaded, please feel free to, to email your email your application to recruiting at healthstaff.org. Um, okay, I think that we um, are almost done. I just I'll just reiterate that to apply for almost all of the um, almost all of the opportunities at worldwide um, and every opportunity in in a hospital, you do have to be currently working as a nurse. Um, you need at least one year of experience and some require more than that. And you do have to have already taken and passed the NCLEX exam. So those are all those are all super important pieces and, and um and just, you know, if you're if you're on your journey for some of that um, or you're not currently working in bedside, you're welcome to apply. And then please just keep us updated. We'd love to know once you find a position in bedside and, and help you find a really great job here in the U.S. So thank you to everybody who has joined us today. Um, we appreciate your time from all the different places in the world that you have joined us. Um, don't forget, refer your friends. Don't don't come alone. Take the journey with somebody that you know. And please reach out to a recruiter with any specific questions. And we look forward to helping you on your journey to the USA. Have a good evening or morning or afternoon.